You can scrape articles, spin articles, replace words, use Article Forge, post to WordPress one by one, batch post to WordPress, use OpenAI ChatGPT in the plugin. You can do custom harvesting of different websites and applications along with a lot more. This is the Scrapebox Article Scraper plugin and the new Beta Article Scraper plugin. Obviously, there's a lot more here than just scraping articles. So we're going to jump into this. Before we do that, my name is Ryan Borden, and this is, of course, Scrapebox. If you don't have Scrapebox, you can jump over to scrapebox.com right here, roll down to the bottom and grab your copy right now. And then you'll need the Article Scraper plugin, which you can get inside of Scrapebox by simply going to Premium Plugin show available plugins and pick the article scraper. So let me briefly explain as we jump into this, what the article scraper plugin is and the beta. Uh, as far as Scrapebox is concerned. When you get the Article Scraper plugin, it's an additional investment. It's currently, at the time of this video, you can see the price right here. You don't buy the Article Scraper plugin and the beta. You simply buy the Article Scraper plugin and you get the Article Scraper plugin and the beta. Lifetime license, all updates are free, just like Scrapebox itself. You do need Scrapebox for this to work. So of course you need Scrapebox and then the Article Scraper plugin. So for the purpose of Scrapebox, when they have betas, beta doesn't mean non-functioning like a lot of beta software might be or full of bugs, that sort of thing. Any software can have bugs, of course, and it technically could have a bug because it's beta, but beta versions, as far as Scrapebox is concerned, is generally speaking, functioning software that generally doesn't have bugs, but it's just not finished. So we have the article scraper plugin right here, you can see the regular. And then this one happens to be the beta you can see right here in the title at the top. So that just means there might be more features that aren't yet added before this is considered final new additions coming. Uh, perhaps they might rearrange things a little bit. They haven't decided because of all the functionality where it necessarily goes. But generally speaking, it's a functional product and it comes with the original. So you would buy the original product, the article scraper plugin, you'd go to plugins, show available plugins, and then you can click on it and install it down here. Um, or updated if it's not updated, then you would go here and you would launch the article scraper and the beta. So let's look at both of these just a little bit here. So this is the regular article scraper. I'm going to move Scrapebox over here just out of the way for now, um, kind of off the screen. And then this is the plugin of the beta. I'm going to move it off the screen. So we have just the article scraper itself. There's another video I have on the article scraper as well, which I will link to down in the description, which you may find helpful because it goes into more detail. This is, there's actually two of them. Um, this is the harvester, right? So in the current article scraper, basically you punch in the fields that you want. You can do before and after markers, which means you can customize this. It's not for in days gone by, the article scraping was only for specific websites. This can scrape articles from any website. So fill in the blank, enter the website. As long as it's not content that's protected by JavaScript, this can scrape it. We have article translation where we enter in a folder that has current articles and a folder we want the output. Then we can use it and translate. So let's say I have a bunch of English articles and I wanted to make them French. I can do that. Um, I can use Google Translate or Bing Translate to do translations, and I can just translate in bulk. So massive amounts of articles, hundreds, thousands at a time, right? Bearing in mind that it is using Google and Bing, so um, you may need proxies if you get into using a lot, which there's full proxy support. So word replace is pretty straightforward. You punch in one word and you get a new word, so you can take articles, a big list of articles or text files, right? doesn't have to be an article, could be something that's just a text file and you can do replacements of you know if you want to replace uh, the word cloud with the word blue it would go through 10,000 articles or 10,000 text files and replace those right the api spinner um, there is a list of spinners these are you know you set them up these are third-party services and you punch in the api and then you can select the folder it will then spin them meaning spin meaning um, spin tax or it takes and puts them into brackets like so. Uh, I'll just show you. So if you wanted to say something like, uh, hi, hello, howdy, right? And then when um, something is posted to, like say you're making articles to post to WordPress, 
uh, Scrapebox will just pick one of those words. And then so you, you can do this all throughout the article. And what you wind up with is a bunch of synonyms. And so you get you can very quickly create tons of unique articles in this way. So that's basically Spintax. Um, that's the sp API spinner. So there are third party services that do this. This spin tax here is the same thing, but um, it is utilizing the whole concept in reverse. So if you have a spin tax article where it's all spun out like that, you click the button here and it will generate unique articles for you that aren't spin tax. The article rewriter is just that you load in an article and it rewrites it based off of an internal database, which you can train. Um, you can see there's 7,900 synonyms in here, but you can import your own articles in spin tax format and train your own databases on that. And then um, it can rewrite articles for you. Article Forge is its own. Again, this is a third party product. You would go to Article Forge, get an Article Forge account, and then you can utilize the Article Forge API to again work with articles here in Scrapebox. The article poster is to post individual articles to WordPress, right? And so I would put in a title, I would put in my content, and then I can have a list of blogs that I want to post this one article to. If I you know, wanted to post it to more than one, or I could just post it to one, whatever. It does support proxies. The batch poster is the same concept, but I can post to a big list of accounts or blogs, right? And a big list of files. So I could put in 100 blogs and you know, 1,000 articles and have it post to all the different blogs all at once. Right. And so there's, you know, different options here. You can set up date ranges. So you schedule them out in the future, et cetera. Again, full prox proxy support. So that's kind of like the historic article scraper that's been around for half a decade, maybe more. This is the beta. So the beta obviously has some new stuff in it. It has um, a custom harvester. Again, they may add new features or rearrange the look a little bit. But um, this is a custom harvester, so it, it utilizes modules. And if you hover over these little information bubbles, it tells you what the stuff is. But a module is basically, you set it up. So if I wanted to build a phone number scraper in here, I could do that, um, and I could build the different different things I wanted. And it supports a before-after concept, where you just put in like a before and after, and then you can see that there's um, you can do line feeds and carriage returns and tabs and spaces just for the formatting sake. Also, it supports regex, so I can punch that in, and then I can scrape phone numbers. I can scrape, you know, all kinds of different data with this, titles of articles, H1 tags, you know, the actual articles themselves. I could scrape uh, email addresses if I put that in there. You could scrape the name of someone. You could scrape, you know, a tax ID number or like the list goes on. It's a custom data scraper, basically harvester that you build the module for and set it up and then you have all these different columns and then you can export them, all right? So OpenAI, pretty straightforward. This brings in where you can put in your OpenAI key, API key. Then you can uh, now utilize basically ChatGPT, OpenAI, here right in the Scrapebox article scraper. Article translation, this is the same as in the original plugin, word replace, this is the same. You get a word replacement. The API spinner is the same, although it offers um, chat GPT in your spin availability, which is really cool. Um, in the spin tax, again, this kicks out original articles from your spun article format. The spin tax, again, it kicks out original articles from your spun format. Again, if you had a big article like this, it would, it would turn this into just picking one of these and would just say, you know, like, hi, for example. And it would do that all throughout the article. The article rewriter, again, same thing. You can uh, load in database. It has internal database. You can load in other language databases, and it will um, rewrite articles for you based on those synonyms. Article Forge, again, you're using the Article Forge API, third-party service. The WordPress poster redesigned, but again, post to WordPress. The batch poster as well, again, post to WordPress in bulk. And then it has a settings tab, which just offers loading of proxies, for example, and then um, the related settings to that. And then you can choose in which uh, tabs here you want to use the proxies themselves, which is pretty cool. So um, ultimately, at some point down the road, more than likely, the beta will just replace the old article scraper. But right now, you can use both while the beta is being built. I have no time frame on this. 
Um, Scrapebox is developed 365 days a year and supported 365 days a year has been uh, over 14 years now. I think 15 years, actually. I think it started in 2009 and um, is still going. So there's a lot of stuff. You know, I talked to developers. There's a lot of stuff on the path. Like it's a very long list of things that they're adding on the whole, not just an article scraper. So again, no ETA exactly. Um, but you still get the old article scraper, which is functional and the beta article, beta article scraper, which is also functional. So you can begin to use the new features like the custom harvester and open AI integration and putting open AI in here. So you can use chat GPT in the article scraper, which obviously is a super valuable resource with anything related to articles to be able to use chat GPT integrated in with it. And so that is the article scraper plugin, as well as the new beta article scraper plugin, which now includes ChatGPT. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.